Hey everyone, have I here, Bruno Vidal and Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be discussing the new Dokkan Festival exclusive banner format versus the old one. What are your chances and have the discussion of which one is actually better. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Well, let's go ahead and dive right in. So really when this news came out, I think everyone was saying, okay, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, this is all a win for the Dokkan Festival exclusive banner, but we did not know the change that they were going to make internally with the number of featured that was basically, now we know from the Dirty Fireworks uh, banner that it went from 7 featured to 10 featured, and generally we would normally see a 10 featured Dokkan Festival exclusive banner when there are Dokkan Festival exclusive LRs on the banner, but now it seems like they are changing it from the original 7 to now 10 and that's going to be the new format from here on out which is now you know amped up a discussion in the community on wait a minute wait a minute is this actually better for us or is this actually worse for us um you know ultimately i think with the additional benefits i think it's overall going to be better but we're going to dive into the numbers and you guys kind of can make the decision while seeing all the evidence here so um, so because they moved from 7 to 10, right, this is now exactly going to mimic the yellow coin LR banners, and that's what they ended up announcing was we're going to basically parallel the Dokkan Festival exclusive banners to the yellow coin pity system, and what we did not know is increasing the featured from 7 to 10 because on those banners, it's 10 featured as well. Now they added... On top of that, the exact same thing from the yellow coin banners is you also get a guaranteed featured SSR for every third multi for 21 multis or seven rounds. So you do have the opportunity, right, to go ahead and get this uh, ability to get guaranteed features, which is a, a huge benefit. Before we didn't have that unless it was like discounted or had the special step up, um, especially on global. And on top of that, have the new pity coin system, uh, with is now a green coin. We have so many coins now. A green coin that you can trade in for the brand new Dokkan Festival exclusive unit. Um, and that's 200 coins. Uh, and generally, it's going to be about 1,000 Dragon Stones if you don't do some trade-ins. But it'll be less than that if you have some trade-ins if you've been playing it for a while. So, so you do have all these additional benefits. But is it overall still better than the seven featured, especially if you're trying to capture multiple copies, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So let's talk first about what it doesn't change, right? So what it doesn't change is your chances, whether it's seven or ten featured, your chances to pull any featured um, Dokkan Festival exclusive or at least banner unit, right? Featured unit. And uh, you have about a 40... 0.13% chance, less than a coin flip, for every time you make a multi, right, you have a 40% chance to capture any featured unit to have any kind of a featured opportunity. Now, what does make the difference is, you know, if you're looking for a particular unit, like the new unit or the banner unit, now it's going to make a significant difference. So the difference from seven featured is you had a 6.92% chance per multi summon to capture a a particular unit that you're looking for let's say the new one right the new dirty fireworks vegeta uh, you have a, a almost a seven percent chance 6.92 percent chance every single multi that you do to go ahead and pick that particular unit up now the change from seven to ten created a now a five percent chance of picking up the particular unit that you're looking for and for you it might not seem like a lot right so you're looking at 6.92 versus five percent that's only a 1.92 percent chance difference or about two percent chance difference but when you actually you know look at okay what kind of a decrease is that that's actually a 28 percent decrease in chance per every multi that you are you know taking for a particular unit so now when you say okay it, it's a it's a 1.92 percent chance that's not a big difference but when you kind of look at it as a more of a percentage drop it's a 28 percent percentage drop from that 6.92 percent um that that's gonna feel you know off right that's gonna feel really really tough if they were to leave this as is 
Now, of course, again, what they ended up doing was, okay, we know that we're going to uh, create a problem here because you have a 28% less chance of pulling the particular unit that you're looking for. So now for every the third multi, we're going to give you the opportunity to then pull a featured, featured guaranteed unit. And then if that chance happens, you actually have almost a 14% chance of pulling the you know that particular unit that you're looking for in this case the dirty the, the dirty vegeta right so the dirty fireworks vegeta so having this opportunity here giving you this much of a, a percentage chance on that third multi is going to force you to actually do the rotation right so if you only you know if you did two you're like oh, okay i did pick up the the new unit on my second multi in this rotation you're like oh it's a guaranteed feature might as well do the other one it's going to almost kind of force you to spend that extra 50 dragon stones and say hey i can get a dupe fairly easily because I, I do have a much higher percentage chance of going ahead and pull this versus you know the normal um five percent chance or even more so the 6.92 percent chance it feels seven featured so this is a huge huge benefit but again for every third multi right for every third multi so and it's only going to go up to seven multis or you're basically using a thousand fifty dragon stones and that's also very interesting as well as you kind of dive into the numbers here because i think a lot of people when they when they thought about this you know uh, especially the people that are trying to summon for multiple multiple copies right from 6.92 percent chance and a 28 percent drop in chance per multi um people got kind of angry about it so um so the, the the thing is right is with this pity system now you might feel less angry because okay tw you get one chance of getting a featured unit but now if you summon enough thousand dragon stones get you your 200 coins which then gives you a guaranteed opportunity to pick up the new dokkan festival exclusive unit and compared to that 500 coins you needed from the celebration but that was across all banners which i actually like that uh, that system uh, i think this system it has been really um <laughs> been touted as a, a great change right for especially for the yellow coin lrs but increasing from seven to ten and featured is really what people are having the biggest trouble with but this portion of it i still think is a huge huge win because for those individuals even with the seven featured might go through a thousand dragon stones and not have the opportunity to pull the unit and then you have nothing to show for it even after a thousand dragon stones now with trade-ins right uh, if you've been playing the game long enough you have some rainbow units you can then trade in uh, those units for additional coins and i would say on average i'm around 650 to 700 drag um, uh, dragon stones to actually pick up enough uh, 200 coins to pick up the new unit so um, that's kind of where i uh, I assume like maybe six, 600 to 700 um, dragon stones that I use to go ahead and get enough coins to pick up the new unit. Um, and some of you guys might vary differently on there, but if you don't have any rainbow units, you're going to spend a thousand dragon stones. So there's, there's still a huge benefit there, even though it moved to 10 featured. Um, if you don't, if you, and I've, I've been there, right? I, I've summoned for a lot of Dokkan Festival exclusives back in the day with seven featured and well over a thousand dragon stones that still not pull the new one so this uh stops the bleeding it stops that uh that issue of um uh, of that despair that you're going to feel there's always a light at the end of the tunnel the funny thing is how they actually end up doing this with the guarantee and with uh, the training coins like i mentioned for a thousand dragon stones right if you spend a thousand dragon stones you don't rainbow anything um you are you know you're spending that many multis to get the coins the funny thing is on the featured right on the featured here uh you you have to spend for seven rotations for for the seven rounds it's a thousand it's a thousand fifty to get that last the, the last feature so it's kind of all again kind of forcing you you're like okay i'm at a thousand i don't have any rainbow units i can't trade in i have enough coins but they're gonna go well here's another if you do one more do one more you have a guaranteed featured incoming and you can still pull that unit there if you pull the unit now you can get a dupe 
right uh, for the same coin so so again it's another way for them to say hey spend another 50 dragon stones uh, on <laughs> on this so i think that's clever what they end up doing that but again if you do have rainbow units you should be well under a thousand that you're going to be using there so um so that's one way of looking at it right but what if you're looking for the banner unit itself for, for me that this doesn't matter because i'm not focused on getting the banner unit if i don't get the banner unit that's fine i always just want one copy of the new uh, fresh toy, right? The new Dokkan Festival exclusive, the new LR, the Dokkan Festival exclusive LR, the Carnival. That's what I'm looking for. But for some of you guys, you want the banner unit as well. So if you're looking for any of the two featured, so let's just say there's one banner unit and one Dokkan Festival exclusive, when it was seven featured, you had a 13.4% chance to pull either one, right? And with 10, it's now under 10%, 9.56% for if you want to pick up any two, right? Technically, it's about, it's 10%, right? Because there's 10 feature, you can have any two. It's about 10% there, but I mean, they did the calculations about, you know, 9.56%, but it's, you know, it's like 10%. Um, and, and the interesting thing is the same minus 28% difference. So not much difference in terms of the chance drop. Uh, it might seem like a lot more, but in reality, it's still, uh, you know, a, a, again, a minus 28%. Um, but then you have the guarantee, right? So the guarantee gives you that additional boost. You're going to have almost a 27% chance to pick up any of the new featured on here, any of the two, whether it's the Dokkan Festival exclusive or the banner unit. So I think this gives that additional advantage here if you are looking for both, both units. Now, the issue then is if you pull one and if you rainbow one, right? You rainbow one and you still haven't rainbowed another one, you're trying to grab one more, that's when it becomes a big problem. So for the individuals that are like wailing out, right? This becomes the biggest issue is trying to actually then summon for one of the units and you have 10 featured, that becomes the biggest problem because now you're back down to 5% trying to pick up one particular unit um, and you're struggling to, to grab that maybe last one. I think a solution to this, right? So, so, so a solution to all this is a part of the pity system. I think this part of the pity system, I think is great. 200 coins, a uh, thousand dragon stones. If you don't have anything rainbow, I still think this is a great, great part of this, uh, the, the new system. If they were just to change it up one little thing, I think a lot of people will be okay, especially the whales that are looking for to rainbow or get some dupes or get some additional copies of particular uh, units on here. Um, if you were to add the banner unit to have a pity system as well, and maybe put it down to about 100 coins or even 50 coins, right? I think they or people would be like, oh, okay, now if I'm chasing after a rainbow unit uh, for the banner unit or I want to get all the units in their rainbowed, um, you can use an opportunity to use these coins, right, for the banner unit because it is still a new unit and some people might want it some banner units are incredible right i think in this case scenario is not uh really overly needed but something like this i think you know if you summon enough like you're trying to rainbow right you've already used the 200 for the new unit and you have some left over you know you can't buy another one right so these coins just sit around and uh end up being a red coin why not still be able to spend it if you're going further beyond that 200 coins, right? I think if they added this, I think this is kind of fair on there. It's for the whales, right? It's for the individuals that are spending a lot of dragon stones and they can waste 100 green coins and say, hey, you know, what? I want the new unit or want it rainbowed now or I want some dupes on there. Let me go ahead and just, you know, throw these green coins because generally speaking, I have like, like 9,000 red coins I haven't really used yet. Uh, red coins are worthless for people that are rainbowing every banner. And that's the reason why I don't recommend you rainbow every unit and every banner, um, even, if you're, even if you're pay to play, right? So I know a lot, some, some people do, but uh, uh, few and far between. But still, I think this could be a nice little addition if they were to think about making some changes to this in the future. So, um, so anyway, in my opinion, right? In my opinion, I, th I still think with the, with the guarantee here, right? The seven, uh, I prefer having a pity system, even though it, it decreased your chance of pulling it per multi, but then gave you an increased chance on the guarantee. The, the stopping the bleeding is the most important thing. 
So in my opinion, I still think the new system is, is better. It's an improvement, even though there is more featured units to go ahead and summon for for every multi. So those are my thoughts there. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the old version better? Do you like the new version better? Um, this has been kind of a discussion on, on, on uh, what I've been seeing uh, so far. Uh, again, i uh, love to hear from you all. If you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time. Later.